Hi, this is Andrew Tai and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to be looking at recovering this Toshiba external hard drive, which won't quite mount. So we have this um, volume here, which I'm looking at in disk utility. And if you open up all devices, you can see that this drive has this volume, which is not mounting. And um, if the hard drive is still intact in some form, then you'll see that this volume is there, but the computer just can't see the contents of it. And um, you can run full recovery software on this. Um, what I'm going to be using today is disk drill. And the, the most um, holistic way of retrieving the documents is to get the entire file structure if you can. So what I've done is opened up my copy of um, disk drill 3, which is the pro license. And I can see that this drive here has um, this external drive icon mounted. And then this backup is, is asking us to rebuild the volume. So what I'm going to do now is press rebuild on this. And what it's going to try to do is rebuild this hard drive. Now this hard drive was um, formatted using um, Mac OS journaled and it was used as a time machine backup. So it has to be formatted in that way. So what this tool is trying to do is rebuild this HFS plus catalog file, which should, if it's possible, retrieve all of the um, file structure and directory and allow us to copy the data off um, at the very least. So I'm just going to let this run for a while and see what this drill can do for us. What will happen is that despite the fact that this hasn't actually completed yet, it's done enough so that the backup drive can actually appear as a um, mounted um, item in Finder. And what, what we can see here is that we have an error icon which is showing that the um, actual hard drive hasn't actually been repaired, but it is viewable. So what this means is that this hard drive, this volume is now read only, which means that we can't make changes or save to the hard drive. We need to extract all the data from it and then reformat this hard drive to make this work again. So this is a really good sign. If we go into Finder and Locations, we can now see the structure of the hard drive that we're trying to recover. And these files and folders, even though they're read-only, we can copy them in their proper file structure. Here is disk drill telling us that rebuilding has failed for the drive that we want to use. And we are not able to use disk drill to recover, but it's kind of done its job already. If we look inside Finder, we can see the file structure is now available for us to make a copy of. So what I'm going to do is make a copy of all this data. And I think the cleanest way to do this would be to use Carbon Copy Cloner, because if I copy and paste this, then it will take a long time. And also this uh, Time Machine Backup folder is going to contain millions of tiny files. And it's just much safer to use a proper tool to make a clone of this with as much preservation of the data as possible. So I want to open Carbon Copy Cloner, and I'm going to select the backup drive as the actual source. And I'm going to select my um, cleaned hard drive, uh, which is spare. And then I'm going to turn safety net off. And then I'm going to do a clone of the data. So this is going to make a full copy of all the data on the drive. So we'll just let that happen for a while. It might take a long time, depending on how much data you're recovering. And also it might depend on the reason for the date, the hard drive failing. If it's just a corrupt volume, then um, it might mean that the hard drive is fine. Or if the hard drive itself starts clicking or making grinding noises, then it'll take much, much longer. But uh, we'll just let this run for now. So finally, the clone has completed. So all the data has been moved from this backup drive to the clone drive. And it only took um, one hour, 34 minutes, which was to copy 232 gigabytes of data. And as we can see here, this clone drive has completely copied all the data from the backup drive. And so we're now free to dispose or format this old backup drive if we really wanted to. Anyway, I hope you found this video useful. If you did, please like and subscribe and check out my next tech video.